<laughs> okay, 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 okay. All right. So um, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to show you guys how to do this problem two different ways. The first way is just kind of the basic cross multiplication because I went over and showed you guys um, that method. So if we were going to apply that, Ashley would probably like, hey, I kind of like that cross multiplication because all I do is say, oh, that is equal to that, right? That cross product, I'm sorry, the product is equal to that. So you could say x times 8, which we like to write as 8x, right, equals 3 times 2, right? So it's the cross products are equal to each other. Now, I simplify this. So that's 8x equals 6. Then, obviously, what is my inverse operation of multiplying by 8? Divide by 8. That divides to 1. So I have x equals 6 over 8. But ladies and gentlemen, as I mentioned, when we talked about a ratio, we want to make sure we can simplify that ratio. So therefore, I can divide the top and bottom by 2, and I get 3 fourths. Okay. 